I found a ripe tomato. tomato time. There's a whole bunch of ripe ones that are touching the ground so we're trying to hurry up and get as many as we can before they before it happens again. <laughs> but they've all turned red just because we left them on the vine. Really so that red one's totally just, dead huh? These are gonna ripen based on the fact that all the other ones did. This one and that one were on the same plant and so because it's dead this one stopped growing but it still turned red. All the best ones are all on the ground. Look at all these giant. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, goodness. That's nice and soft, but it's not red yet. So, our weather has been a little bit strange this year. The nights have gotten really cool. Our first real major frost is actually less than two weeks away now, maybe even a week away. So, everything we don't pick in the next seven days is going to be completely wasted. So, whether it's red or orange or yellow or or still green. We're, oh wow, that's a beautiful. Or pink. <laughs> that's a great one, buddy. Um, we're gonna have to pick them all, and we're gonna have a lot of tomatoes. This one's ripe, so this is the what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, that's a black Cherokee, right? I have no idea. <laughs> Lots of different varieties mixed together. I got a little bit of James. Ooh, yes, you did. Can I put mine in there? Yes, potatoes. You found potatoes. Good job, Emmy. Baby potatoes. Baby potatoes. So based on that one plant that died and still ripened its tomatoes, I'm thinking instead of picking the green ones, I'm going to leave them all on the vine so they can get uh, as big and as ripe as they can on their own. And then when the frost finally comes, then we'll just pull up the whole plant and let the dead plant continue to ripen. Yeah, or right before the frost comes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so they don't get frost burn. Yeah. That way they all the Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so all the nutrients from the dying or dead plant, after we pull it up, will still go into the the tomatoes and help them ripen more more completely. Rather than just picking them. Oh, you fell over, didn't you? Oh there you go. Sorry. It's hard to get around all these tomatoes. <laughs> so yeah, if your tomatoes are about to, to die or freeze or whatever, uh, just pull up the whole plant. And it'll, it'll hang it upside down. You'll get those tomatoes still. It'll extend your season a little bit for fresh tomatoes. Got a few other things that we've been harvesting just here and there. This is the one that was on our uh, house that we not our house, or not our actual house, but this little uh, squash house that we built. And it finally just couldn't hang on any, any longer and fell off as I was moving around it. And you said we had some other t um, pumpkins? Look at all the ones that I got. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's a fun variety. <laughs> There's a little white one from the same exact plant. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Let's see, Alex. Can you guess which one is the biggest one I found? <laughs> hmm, I think it's that one there. <laughs> I think it might be this one. Oh yeah, I only put one spicy thing in. Okay. All we need is just a squeeze of lime juice. 
That looks about right. <laughs> Yay! Yum. The colorful tomatoes oh, make it so good. Smells cool. so good. You like it? Yay! <laughs> you like chips and salsa banjo? Somebody calls cacti. Yeah. Cacti. When you see one, it's a cactus. When you see two, it's cacti. You're a cute little smarty pants. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. You got really smart pants. <laughs> smart dress? Yeah. <laughs> Real smarty dress. <laughs> All right, well, we've got our work cut out for us. <laughs> Most of today, turns out. We're not actually going to pick all of them today. We're going to leave them as long as we can um, before it frosts. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll get a few more, more days of warmth this year. But, uh, yeah, we hope you have a great rest of your day. Tune in tomorrow. Check out our Patreon page. Uh, you can get awesome prizes and <laughs> kickbacks from us for your awesome support. Also, keep your eyes peeled for another painting. Go down to the link below to bid on my art. Also, check out my website, which is trentgoodmanson.com, to see my current work and to commission a piece if you want something special for yourself from me. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.